Good to be back in front of the camera. I'm watching a stupid video at the moment. This guy's talking about Taxi GG. He's not talking about it. He's showing how a bunch of people are exploiting with this new bug in Apex. Where, like, you... It's so dumb. It's so, it's so dumb. Watch this, guys. Basically, the car is flaming. And because the car is flaming, you cannot destroy the car. You can shoot the person in the car, but you can't destroy the car. The other person in the car, the other riding the side, they can shoot you. Plus, drive the car, obviously, cannot shoot you. Um, yeah, this is this is like terrorism, uh, virtual terrorism in a video game. There are people. This is a real person driving this car, and that's this is what they do with their entire fucking day. They just do this all the time. And um, yeah, I'm pivoting over from this because I haven't touched Apex in three days. Pivoting over from this to um, the problem of knowing what to do, and the problem of knowing what to do is you kind of like you kind of get burdened by the fact that you know what to do, but you don't have like the how do I say this strength, productivity, the whatever it, you ha it needs to actually do it. I have a mountain of work ahead of me. Like I was sitting down and meditating on this topic in my mind and thinking about it. Like genuine, how do I say this? <clears throat> genuine. My, my voice sounds really high pitched right now. Anyways, whatever. Genuine, um... Like, you know when you sit down and think? What's the word? Not GBT. <laughs> Ponder. No? Introspect. Introspection? It is the word kinda, but like. Introspection refers to the process. It says, Chatterby says, the word you are looking for is introspection. Introspection refers to the process of self reflection where you contemplate your thoughts, feelings, experiences, and actions. It involves looking inward to gain insight into yourself, your motivations, and your life choices. During introspection, you might analyze past decisions, assess your values, and consider how your experiences have shaped you. It can be a valuable practice for personal growth and understanding oneself better. Yeah, it's true. Introspection is my word. <laughs> that was quick. I was genuinely like pondering, sitting, and thinking, and introspecting within myself. And I was just thinking to myself, like, let's say I get all my work done. I'm enjoying this moment. Oh, let me see that. It's flipped. Let's say I get all my work done. Where do I really go after that? Like, I get all the video editing done. I get all the you know, all the clipping done. Everything, everything under the sun, I get done. It's all finished, right? What then? What then? And this is the biggest problem that I'm facing as a young man. I think a lot of young men are facing this as well. Like, you have you know what to do. Like, I know what to do. I got my cyber security work. I got my video editing work. I got um, edit some projects I need to edit, like it just video editing, cyber security, scripting, some other stuff. What, what else do I need to do? I can't lie. All right, reading books, self improvement, the basic self improvement, stuff like meditation, exercising, virtual journaling, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But more so, like, I think a big part of self improvement also is introspection that no one really talks about enough. Just sitting down and think. I think Hamza was like before, like, you need, you need to sit down and think. You need to sit down and think and, and just go away from your phone, which is what I did. I had my phone on my detail meditating app. And I could just, after 29 minutes of meditation today, like less in total, I kind of just come to the conclusion that a lot of the work that I'm doing isn't getting me to the place I want to get to. Like, let's say, for example, I edit all of my gaming content, which I've done, by the way. Like, I've edited over 200 gigabytes of gaming content alone, which is quite insane. Let's extrapolate that, and let's say I edit... Um, my podcast, my ADC podcast, I got like two, three episodes of that, I did those two, I'm in the middle of clipping it, I was just in the middle of clipping it today, actually let me just check that one out, have a tracker, let's say I edit that, and after I edit like three episodes, I milk it, I got my first three episodes up, woohoo, and I'm like looking then looking towards my next guest for my next podcast episode segment, 
and then after that let's say I edit my mimic video my one of my old other YouTube gaming videos let's say I edit my discord dating show let's say I, I just fucking finish everything where do I really get after I finished everything and this is like the surprising question I'm asking myself like I don't really I don't think I really get anywhere like that's that's just surprising bro like I don't know if you hear my mom. <laughs> my mom's birthday today, so yeah. Happy birthday in chat, guys. Oh, it's just, it's just it's weird. It's interesting. It's interesting. Like, let's say let's say put spit back onto you, the viewer. Let's say you finish all the work that you need to finish. Every single task, you reach the deadline. Every single objective, every single goal, every single project, you just complete. Where do you go then? Then there's like a next like project, next task, next the work, whatever, right? Is there any like tangible reward at least? Like where do you where, where is the what's the end goal? Where do you want to go? Like okay, I'm, I'll edit the podcast. Okay, I'll edit the dating show. Okay, I'll do the work. I'll, I'll fucking I'll fucking do it, bro. Not only to say that I did it, but also to like prove to myself I can do it, and also to open up a potential opportunity and avenue in order to grow a business, a brand, like in the podcast. I could have one or two people. I could talk for hours, bro. I think this channel pretty solid, solidified that pretty well. I can talk for hours and hours and hours on, on a multitude of different topics. I have multiple different interests and I have a very, very high sense of, of how do I say this? High sense of spoken literacy. So I, I speak, I just speak a lot and I speak well. That's pretty much it in layman's terms. So I can speak a lot, I can speak well, I can speak about multiple topics. I can speak about, I can speak to a multitude of people. Podcasting allows me to just streamline that and turn it into a business potentially. But like, what then? Like, and then, I, then my job is talking to people. But then I also have like other things I want to do, like fighting. And I kind of want to play games on the side as well. And but I, don't know, I want to play games, but I don't want to play games. You understand me? Like, I have an urge. And to extrapolate that further with the game thing, like I have an urge to play video games. But, like, I watch the video games, I see the video games, it's fun watching video games. But when I'm on the video games, there's kind of like an overbearing sense of dread. Almost because, let me give you something else. Almost because, like, I almost kind of know. No, almost, like, I think definitely, I know I have work to do. And it's not the right time yet to play video games. And I, I want to say to myself, like, yeah, when the, when the time's right, I'll turn on the video game. But, like, to be honest, if, if everything would go well... I don't think I would want to touch the video games again. It's just like an urge, like an urge, like um, like an addiction, almost. Like I'm addicted to that shit. I, I was watching it. I was watching it back. Like how long I would play? I play for hours on end, bro. Three or four hours on stream. I'm really struggling with my nose. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Funny. Hey, my tissue. Where was I? God damn it! I don't know where I was. <laughs> I can't watch back the recording either. Um, the gaming thing is more of a addiction. I will play on hours on end. Like my first ever stream was an eight-hour stream, and then it, I couldn't do it eight hours again because I was so tired after it. Because um, kind of it's really overstimulating. Like it's, it, it, your, I think your brain just exhausted to play games that long. After that, it's just streamed here and there, played here and there, but I, it wasn't entirely like. It wasn't entirely serious. It wasn't entirely like I'm pushing for it. And after that, I um, my last stream was three years ago, and that was the last time I played um Apex. And I have the goal of I made a new goal. I was like, I keep making new goals, and it's actually it's kind of it's kind of getting weird. And I have to like stop for a bit and sit and analyze like what's what the genuine benefit of what, what I'm doing here. Like, okay, I fumbled my four thousand damage game. If I keep playing, I probably will get it. Like, there is no doubt in my mind that I will get it somehow, somewhere, like sometime. 
I'll get 4K. And then the goal will not just be 4K, it will be 4K on multiple characters. It will be 20 more, and then it will be 20 more on multiple characters. And then it's maybe X Predator, and then maybe it's like a certain kill like threshold, like that type of thing, right? The goalpost always moves. You understand me? When it comes to gaming, when it comes to when it comes to life, when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to boxing, when it comes to this, when it comes to that, and the goalpost always moves. And the problem with that is. Because of the goalpost keeps moving, I'm gonna to have to keep investing more and more time into Apex, and I'm quite brutal with myself in Apex. Like I probably shit on myself. Like when I when I get like a string of bad games, I get seriously fucking angry, bro. Because I'm a competitive individual, I get angry. On off stream and on stream, I I, might, I said I might as well fucking stream anyway, so I get a bit of content. <laughs> but my time is not wasted. <laughs> And like I think I I think I, I perform worse when I'm harsh on myself. That's why I have my videos. I'm like, yeah, don't don't be hard on yourself. It's okay, keep going, play the video game. Like what the fuck? What's my advice, bro? Like what is this? It's so dumb. And um yeah, last last trip I I said, you know what, I'm harsh on myself, I'm not gonna keep playing. I'm gonna stop. I don't care anymore. I want to reach like my goal. My goal was 4K. Failed that goal, but exceeded my expectation with 3,400 damage game. I wouldn't. I would have got 4K if only. I probably would have got high damage as well. Like I keep looking at these games and the small mistakes they just extrapolate and they just fuck me up. But if only like I didn't make those small mistakes, I could have been like getting you know, higher damage games, which would have then motivated me to keep playing, which would have then like extrapolated again. Push my goals onto more and more characters. Like it's just, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb, guys. It's, it's it's genuinely stupid. This is it's not it's not making me happy. It's not making me fun. It's not giving me a tangible role in life. It is giving me content, but that's about it. That's about it, bro. That's about it. And then I I re I reached my my um three major goals so far. Finish the battle pass. Reach master. Get a 3k now that it's a 4k. Like, I w the 4k would have never been like a thing. Like, I'm, a, I'm pretty new to this, like, thing. Like, I'm seeing this. I have no motivation to play around. I have no motivation. I have an urge, I have a desire, like a genuine, intrinsic, passionate desire to play. Like, if I was more made to play, I would bring on my PS4. But, I, but I'm not gonna fucking do that shit because it's just dumb. It's dumb in general. It's just brain dead. I'll show you um, what I previously had made. I'll tell you guys, man. Go forward, keeps moving. You know, my friend tells me that um. My friend tells me something interesting. Like, um, 4,000 damage is easy. That's what he tells me. My friend tells me. And he's a really, like, good player. He has 20,000 kills. But in 1v1s, I mean, destroyed this fucker, really fucking kid, man. Like, no kids. I made this in, like, in the spur of the moment. I look back, I cringe at it because I, I can achieve this. I can achieve all of this. The 4,000 damage badge. Is like the commons man badge almost. Any player with enough time and dedication can achieve it. Twenty bombs are a lot luckier, and a lot more rotation and a lot more kill stealing and a lot. It's like you need good teammates as well to support you, because you might get down, you might make a mistake here and there. It happens. Twenty bombs is a lot of luck involved. Skill of course, but in Apex, all you, ha all you need is a good aim and good game sense. That's it. Period. I have the very good aim, not like good aim, I have very good aim, but I have very poor game sense. And I think it's, I think it's just going now to good game sense, but like previously, very poor. And this would 
cost me a lot, bro. Like, it cost me a lot of time and energy. It cost, it just cost me a lot in general. I met a guy recently called KTB. And you can search up KTB Apex. I played it with this guy. And he was a really nice guy. He was a really good guy. And, like, I almost got my first 4,000 damage game with him as well. He was carrying me a lot. And he was doing a lot of damage. He was, like, 3.5, 4K damage. But he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. But for me, like, I fucking care. That's a big deal, right? I'm, I'm, I'm an average player. But I'm like, I'm inching towards this goal that I had in mind, which was always so elusive and so far away, almost. And now, like, I'm reaching it, and I'm like, you know what? I can reach on multiple characters. Here's all the characters that I play. Fuse. I don't I just like Fuse. I don't play Fuse a lot. I like Fuse. Octane, I play Octane a lot. Bloodhound, I don't play Oct uh, Bloodhound a lot, because my friend uh, used to main him, and also my friend used to main him as well. But yeah, I've been playing these characters a lot, and I really enjoy them. Loki wanted, it, but I don't care too much for real. So these are like my secondary characters. Valkyrie, Caustic, Horizon, Newcastle, Catalyst. Maybe Gibraltar would be added into the mix. I think maybe Gib. Where would he rank? I think number four. He would rank at number four. Um, because I was, I was close to getting uh, I got a 2 5 game Gib. So uh, my, my dumbass. I don't know what quicker way to do this. I'm a dumbass. I I thought I had it for a sec, but um, no mind. I'm a dumbass. Seven Horizon Newcastle. Now Horizon Newcastle pretty evenly, evenly thing. I kind of wanted more Newcastle. It's like Newcastle. And the, and the list continues. And the goalpost moves. And this is the problem of knowing what you want to do. Because if you know what you want to do, you have genuine, like, how do I say this? Awareness of your, no uh, thing, your, of your true desires. Like, am I genuine, bro? Think about how fuck this is. Video games have fucked me up so much. One of my genuine true desires is to get a virtual badge in a virtual video game. Possibly after investing... Another few thousand hours on a virtual video game, in a virtual plane, in the metaverse. I don't, I don't get anything out of it. I get content, for sure, but I don't get, like, any money, any anything, bro. <laughs> the problem, like, um... It's a bit of a different, different topic, like, I was, I, was, I was looking at my work. I, you, can, you can see my, um... So, this is my... I'll have Apex running, as a quick distraction. I'm uploading a video as well. You can see the schedule. The schedule videos. Yes, mom. Yeah, have fun, mom. Yeah, sure. More than fifty videos scheduled. Uh, how do I show you? Show you. Show you. Show you. Fifty videos scheduled. Nice. Yeah, there's 50 and then there's more, more, 10 more. But I have more videos I haven't uploaded yet. Including this one. Yeah, I went for a lot. It's kind of weird. I said, I went from saying I'm almost 18 and achieved nothing in my life to, yeah, I'm achieving something, but then there's like so much work to do in my life. So it's, it's, it's kind of weird. And, um, yeah. I got 50, I got 50 unuploaded videos. Oh god. I'm only good for another month and a bit. Oh no. <laughs> I need to record more videos. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way big big ton of cuts gonna run out of videos. Ain't no way. That's actually that's actually crazy. I go until September. And then like twelfth September, then I'm kinda fucked. Um I need to organize what I need to upload but, um, Yeah, I'll, if you saw my tabs like all my tabs is type security work. And then there's my website work. And then there's some of my attention list, so let's go, let's go through this. You wanna see, see my life, guys? What are we up to? And then editing as well, like, I was on cut, I was editing, um, 
Ooh, that just fucking bumped out my shit. Why did CapCut just get widescreen? Oh, what the hell? You see this? Look, it's bugging. It's CapCut, but it's bugging. Oh no, it's here. my video with um my cat. I just made it quickly with some subtitles. That's what I wanted. And CapCut. It, it said on my... When I was well, when I was the first um, installing CapCut, I said your computer can run CapCut smoothly, but this shit is the laggiest shit since like fucking forever, bro. Okay, that doesn't look, that's for another day. But um, yeah, this is all my tabs, cybersecurity work, cybersecurity with the help of ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT to script it, and then it's me making it the actual cybersecurity. Presentation with like, the visuals and stuff, and I, I don't think I'm gonna be presenting this. I'm just sending it in, and then um, I got a lecture here. The mug like about I was, I was listening to, and I have my five-year goals. Make money. Ten k month, five k month, one k month, six months, twelve months consistently. I want to get six pack straight to call six pack. I want a hundred k sub on this main channel. I need to take something off. Jimmy Chan YouTube, I make my YouTube on 3,000 on my subscribe to my, my second channel. I want to my grandparents' trip to Bali along with my mom. Establish professional boxer, world champion contender, world champion championship belt, four major alphabet belts in boxing. Got my business tasks right here. Why well, I do this? What the hell? Posting images, they did not sign any of this stuff. Um, yeah, I need to send them, these guys the website. I have a official website, so yeah, that's not interesting. A lot of work there. I kind of feel like I don't know. I remember before, like, I had this insanely desperate feeling. Like, I was a weirdly desperate, like, I was a kind of dizzy and desperate feeling. I'm, I'm feeling it just like a, in a small magnitude, watching all my shit I need to do. I made it my intentions list. It's not called a to-do list. It's called an intentions list now. I sincere with a quote right here. I want to mold it myself. I sincerely promise to complete all my tasks on my intentions list as I'm an industrious. As I am a, I as I am an industrious individual whose bare basis is hard work. Hard work is easy for me. Jimmy Chung III. Nice. And then just a lot of work. The editing, the top of the course. I still haven't. Organized, I have over 600 images I need to organize um, when I went to this art gallery and then I need to post on my social medias and website, which I can't anyway because I don't have space. Traditional work tasks, um, yeah, finish website creation, books and gloves, shit, finish energy podcast with episode, this traditional work, and any video editing work as well. So I did it from for most sports to be supported, but like and on, honestly, like they're all important to me. Got my attention last right attention task right here. This is just for today, like I wanted to destroy the cybersecurity risk and threat presentation, which I think I am. And the video editing is what I'm, I want to get through. And then it's just website and the update website. And like I'm kind of just I just today I just want to do this. This is the biggest thing because with this, I feel as if I can tick off so many of these. Look at them, you can see here as well, boxing glove, website creation, website creation, boxing gloves, website creation, boxing, website, 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 like, I've been on this website shit for a minute, bro, and this is the problem with knowing what to do, and you know what to do, but like, can you even muster enough strength to fucking do it in the first place, that's the, that's the biggest thing, like, holy fuck, bro, I keep looking at it, like, I have one thing I need to do, and like, I know nothing, I procrastinated for a week, like, I was just sending some emails. And I just did it today, like, within 20-30 minutes. And I just told myself, like, not even 20-30 minutes, I was like, not even 20 minutes. I think I think it barely scratched 15 minutes of my time. And I procrastinated for, like, a week. And I was thinking, like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I need the ability to work hard and get into the zone of hard work. And this is why I'm going to be reading... I am already am reading, but I'm going to be like fully, deeply reading, after this video at least, a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. The goal 
from um, from me reading this book, like I'm gonna be reading and writing, like I studying this book and everything. The goal for me is just to genuinely sit down and get more fucking work done. Because like my current work rate, I'm, I journal this as well. Like, it is shallow. It is embarrassingly shallow, and it's getting something piss me off as well. Like, um, I'm over here. I need I need to read deep work by Cal Newport. I am grateful for un understanding that my work for is far too shallow. For too long, I fucked around, fucked around outside of the the zone in quotations, fucked around and seen mediocre results. What do I always say? Live mediocre, die mediocre. And I asked myself a question, which is um, following the philosophy of Marcus Aurelius. Aren't I living mediocre? Like, ask yourself tough questions. And I said, let's say I get my work done. What then? Excuse me. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting place to be, you know. You know, I was thinking about it before as well. Like, I was looking at my uh, my childhood friend, and she's fifteen now. And I'm 18. She's turning 16 it's very, very soon, going into year 11. And I'm turning 18, and like, I'm kind of preoccupied with this, I'm doing work, I'm doing this, I'm doing boxing, I'm doing that, uh, uh, um, you know, more being more an adult. And like, we're kind of on separate different life paths, but when we were both very small children, I kind of feel like we just we resonated with each other really well, and got along really well. But like, it just feels like we're in two different worlds now, you know? And I, I don't like it to stay that way. I would like it to be so that I am the older person and I am more matured and I have my shit together and I'm an adult. But the like the truth is is like Yeah, I'm not as confused as maybe she is, but I, fuck, I fucking know what to do. And like I can't do it. it fucking destroys me. I just wanna grab myself by the thumb and say, Jimmy, you bitch, why don't you just do it? So I'm gonna make a big investment of my time and energy and read deep work by Cal Newport. <laughs> to address the title of this video, the problem with knowing what to do, the problem with knowing what to do is you wait. Let me re reiterate myself actually. The problem of knowing what to do is when you know what to do and you know what it will benefit you and what it will give you, you just can't do it. No, that's not true. That's not an answer. What is the problem with knowing what to do? What's the biggest problem knowing what to do? I would say like, I start off with this video saying like, it doesn't really matter, because it doesn't really get me anything, but it does, get, it does kind of get me something. It gets me my, my shit done, gets me more work to my portfolio, gets me more productive, it gets me more to the zone. Like, I'm I need to do the presentation for the press time security and anyway. So what, 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 what the fuck? What is the problem of knowing what to do? The pro is the problem like you just can't do it then? Is the problem that you, you end up procrastinating? Let me try GPT. <laughs> what is it, man? Yo, when in doubt, rely on AI. Well, you couldn't kill the seagulls even if you wanted to. Stop saying wait, go back to sleep. This cat thinks he can kill seagulls. Every single time he sees, he sees seagulls by the windows, he's just like pointing at the windows. As if he can, like, you know, fucking whack that, that bird out of the sky. Like, shut up, no. Stop. Hey, you seeing? No, you can't. Is the tissue in the way? The tissue in the desk. You still can't see him? Oh, no, you can a bit. See his head. Yep. Nice.
What you're going through is a natural and essential process of self-exploration and self-doubt. Introspection often involves reflecting on your desires, goals, and the and the potential consequences of your actions. It's not uncommon to feel a mix of emotions during this phase, including uncertainty about whether whether you have the strength to pursue what you want. The feeling of uncertainty about the outcome of your decisions is a common aspect of introspection. When contemplating life choices, it's natural to worry about the potential consequences and whether the path you choose will lead to the desired outcomes. This uncertainty could cause anxiety or hesitation, but it's not part of the decision making process. Definitely hesitation, but not so much anxiety. Like, maybe a little bit of anxiety, like maybe 1%. As a problem with knowing what you want to do, there might be a few potential issues. One, fear of failure. Sometimes, you are, when you are aware of your aspirations and goals, there is a fear of failure attached to them. The fear of not being able to achieve what you want to want and can hurt. The fear of not being able to achieve what you want can hold you back from taking action. External influences. Others might not understand or support your choices. You can create pressure and doubt within yourself. This could be especially challenging if the people around you have this expectation or beliefs. Change and uncertainty. Pursuing what you want can often lead to significant changes in your life. And change can be intimidating. The uncertainty that comes with making life altering decisions can be daunting, even if it's something you genuinely desire. Commitment. Knowing what you want requires commitment and effort. It means taking responsibility for your choices and the accounts for the outcomes. This level of commitment can be challenging for some individuals, some individuals. Past experiences. Past failures or negative experiences can make you doubt your ability to achieve what you want, meaning self-doubt and hesitancy. While knowing what you want is an essential step towards personal growth and fulfillment, it's crucial to remember that introspection is a journey and it's okay to have moments of doubt. It's essential to be kind to yourself and take small steps towards your goals, acknowledging that your path you might not be always linear or easy. Seeking support from friends, family or professional counsellor can, can also be helpful during this introspective phase. What the fuck am I? I need money! I just realised, like, I need money. I need to get shit done. I need to get shit done, I need money, I need fucking, oh, I need everything, like, how do I say this? I need that lifestyle, I need, I need a fucking, a, like, a, like a brotherhood of, like, young men and men in general that are just intensely, like, fucking go-getters, intensely are, like, how do I say this, hardworking and systemized, and how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? Um... How do I, can I say driven in order to achieve? I could say that, yeah. I need a, I need a, I need a fucking group of um, young men who are driven to achieve, to, to succeed and to conquer, bro. That's what I fucking need. From around everyone that's hardworking, everyone makes money and everyone's grinding and everyone fucking works hard. I won't have time to like introspect and think about, oh, that'll come, that'll come. I need to get shit done. That's what I need to do. And I was meditating before and I was like, I can't. I, I, I kid you fucking not. I was meditating at like one two a.m. in the morning, and I meditate like I just got out. Of bed. I couldn't sleep, so I meditated in order to like try to re recollect myself, recollect my thoughts, just before going back to sleep, which actually worked by the way. That shit fucking. But I, I literally fell asleep in like three minutes. It was actually crazy. No, it should, it might, I think it'll be less than that. I literally meditated I, when I finished my meditation session. I hopped into bed, and I like I just snuggled, and I just before I knew it, I was just hugging my pillow, and before I knew it, I just blacked out, and then it was the next, it was the next day. But the entire time when I was meditating, like a fucking classic Buddha pose, a lotus position, just thinking to myself, with my hands like here, gathering my chi. The only thing my dumbass, I'm not my dumbass, my fucking ass could think about was, I need to make money. I need to work hard. I need to achieve. I need to grow. I need to fucking get into better shape. That's the only things I'm worth thinking about. The problem with that is no problem actually. It's pretty good. It's pretty good problem to have. I know. I think that's the end of this video. I will catch you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys understood that a little bit. I want to ask a final question to you guys, and if you do watch the video, put that in the comment section down below. Put it in the comment section down below. What do you think is your biggest problem that you're facing at the moment? How do you think you're gonna achieve it? Achieve it. What do you think is the biggest problem that you have at the moment? What do you think is the biggest problem that you are facing at the moment? And how do you think you're gonna solve this problem? Put it in the comment section down below. Catch you in the next video. Leave me your damn video. Peace.